Hello, this is going to be your third party reading. I'm just going to go over a quick introduction. If you have Instant Go, you can add me there for short video readings. Um, I'm doing video replies to all questions on Instant Go. Um, you can find me there at 13 Signs Tarot. If you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the website in the description below, okay? That's the best, most efficient way to contact me for a reading. It keeps everything straight so that I don't get mixed up or confused, and um, it helps me and you out, okay? Also, um, for candle orders and teas and things like that, um, a lot of you are worrying about Christmas, like, will it get there in time? As long as I get it, like, the 20th, we should be able to make something work as far as getting your gifts and things out, okay? I do have other colors um, I'm going to be stocking um, on the site, and I do have all of the signs that I read for, okay? So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy the reading. Bye. Hello, Sagittarius. This is going to be your third party reading. I hope you're doing well. For the first spread, as normal, you'll be on the left. Your partner will be in the middle. Sorry, I have the hiccups. <laughs> of course, as soon as I start filming, I have the hiccups. And on the right side is your partner's other partner. <laughs> this is not going to work out. Hold on. Okay, we should be good now. Okay. <laughs> so, the first card out is the Ten of Cups. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I love that! I'm dying right now. Oh my god, I'm getting some water. Hopefully, these go away because I cannot do these with hiccups, okay? I cannot. Alright, um, so the Ten of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Hangman, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles as well so on your side Sagittarius we have the hangman so this person is feeling literally that things aren't moving forward regardless of the attempts to do so with the eight of pentacles because I mean the eight of pentacles looks like someone is definitely trying to make things work okay this could be in a family situation for some of you with the ten of cups here but your partner is feeling um, some of you, it's because either your partner has a new lover or there's some type of other love interest involved with the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Wands is in the outcome, so somebody might wind up getting blocked. Lord. Okay, so your partner's energy is the Three of Swords, which is sorrow. So if they got blocked or um, with the Judgment card, you decided to uh, maybe end things regardless of um you know the work that's been being put in, in the eight of pentacles maybe it's just a cycle maybe you've been like stuck in a cycle with this person all right let's see <clears throat> someone might wind up getting blocked lord or at least just having to defend themselves or you know some of somebody may have to defend why this relationship um is over with you know what i mean maybe this person isn't understanding but the Seven of Wands usually to me is somebody getting blocked. That's how I look at it, but whatever. Eight of Wands. So they've got the Hermit and the Eight of Wands for this person over here. So this could be a Virgo that they're dealing with, Sagittarius. It's also the Hierophant. So this could be their married partner or it could be a Taurus energy. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius partners, other partner. Three. Two. Alright, so the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Wands is also in reverse, and then we have the Strength card, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so it's interesting that we have two Aces in this, um, whew, okay, so we got the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands, and we've got the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is definitely something that's, like, interconnected here. I feel though, Sagittarius, you aren't, for some of you out there, some of you may be this person's married partner, but for some of you, you're the other person or you're the newer person and you guys try to make things work or you try to make things move forward, but with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, there was a false start or things weren't able to get off the ground with this person, Sagittarius, so you've cut them off 
or you've decided to you know make a judgment about a judgment call about this relationship they may have tried to with this ace of cups they may have tried to reconcile with this person okay um they may have been separated from this person here before or they were like thinking about leaving this person but with the eight of swords in reverse this means that interference is no longer an issue um the hermit card also insinuated to me that they were in some way maybe separated from this person or um they were having issues with this person now do i think that this relationship is going to work like this person here no i think that this this relationship is in my opinion has its all other problems and i think it's like a make up to break up type of thing or it's just someone dragging out the ending because of the nine of wands and the outcome so let's see why is the nine of wands here for this side four swords in reverse yeah it's like try it again like yeah with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck they're trying they're either going back to their married partner and trying to fix things or they're just deciding to stay married and therefore there's not an ability to move forward with you sagittarius or it could be the other way around it could be you're the married partner okay um they've reconciled with this person here so now you've you know you've let them know look i'm not trying to be in part in, a part of this anymore now you don't even have to be married for some of you okay yeah six of pentacles eight of ace of pentacles okay so why is this person with the three of swords i mean that is also a third party card but it seems like they're upset or heartbroken about something knight of cups this is could be a water sign for some of you pisces cancer scorpio um the person you're dealing with sagittarius I feel like it's because, well, clearly they're offering love to two people, but I feel as though you're like, for some of you, you're denying their offer because of the lack of forward movement in the connection, okay? Um, this, again, we know that they're offering love to two people, so that's not, um, yeah, Hierophant. I, I feel like this person feels more solid, this person here feels more solid about this relationship. This is something that could be great, you know, there's happiness, there's there's passion here, but there's a lack of movement. Hangman. This person's not trying to move forward. Why is a hangman here? Two of wands. Stuck between two people. Okay? I don't even think this is the relationship that they should be invested in anymore. And it's more about comfortability or just children, family with the hierophant. That's the family situation. That's why I'm saying this may be the and then the nine of wands again. So it's a relationship that is taking a lot for this person to continue in, okay? Not in a good way. All right, so let's see what the energies are for Sagittarius in this person. So for some of you who are thinking, um, you know, you're wondering if you should continue dealing with someone who's in a sense stringing you along, or maybe they're saying they're not reconciling with their other partner, or they're not, you know, trying to fix things here, but I think they are, okay? So you have Blossoming Abundance as your card, Sagittarius. So that's good, I guess. But it's also a card of three. So just saying. Let's see what's going on here. Door to Romance. So um, there's another three, but it's a six technically. But um, yeah, I feel like they're rekindling something here. I don't feel like it's going... I don't know if it's going to work out very well, but I feel like they are. That's all I'm saying. Blossoming abundance. Yeah, I mean, I guess with the ace of the ace of cups, but that ace of cups, I feel like is about this here. Okay, because why would the seven of wands be here if things are working out so well there? Why would the judgment card be there with the hangman and the two of wands? Okay, this is a hot ass mess here too but it's it's reconvening it's like the, the communication has been restored here or things are someone's trying to reconcile a situation here why is the seven of wands here now it could be for their own gain it could be because maybe they rely on this person financially or they do have children with this person whatever but it's still happening why is the seven of wands here three let's see some of you it's an earth sign Taurus, capricorn virgo five of pentacles King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you are going to be deciding to leave an earth sign alone or a water sign. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody's leaving somebody in the cold this month.
Okay, some 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 sads is just tired of the games. Okay, that's just bottom line. Some of y'all leaving the earth sign behind. Some of y'all may be going towards the earth sign. Okay, um, yeah. Some of y'all leaving y'all husband because they playing. I don't know. It ain't my business. All right. <clears throat> It could be a, yeah, earth sign could be anyone, female, male, whatever, I got time. All right, let's see what's up for those being put in third-party situations by Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we've had that same, like, reading, though. We've been having that same reading. Two of Wands energy, hangman, we've been having that same reading. I'm not saying that my Leo way gets results, but I definitely, I don't know. I have a short fuse. Like, I just can't do the whole hangman and you want to, no, we ain't doing all that. I don't have the patience. I don't. Or somebody's trying to come back after they, and they still playing games. So that's, that's another energy I'm getting. So let's see. Somebody might wind up getting blocked. All right, so in the middle, we'll have Sagittarius's energy as the juggler. We'll have their either party on the left and right. We have the Empress as the first card out. So some of you are a Taurus dealing with the Sagittarius, putting you in a third party situation. We have the Four of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, show me what's going on with Sag third party situations. So we've got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Eight of Wands, and the Outcome. So if you are dealing with somebody where the Sag is kind of chilling on you, they're not really making any d decisions, maybe because they're not single yet. They may be dealing with an air sign, the Sagittarius, whatever the reason is. They look like they want to be making some action this month towards you, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles, so the Sagittarius themselves may be experiencing um, some type of balance and success here. So it could be financial um, stability, um, or it could just be peace from, you know, having some Five of Pentacles energy before. That can be a multitude of things, okay? Devil card, okay? This could be them leaving you out in the Sag, leaving this person here out in the cold. Could be a Taurus, like I said, or an air sign. Um and now they're wanting to reconnect with you, okay? The devil card is on this side, so there's a Capricorn that maybe is in the, in, the, in the equation. We have the Ten of Cups. This is seemingly the family situation here, okay? Some of y'all may be a Taurus. It, you could be the wife with the Empress card, but I'm getting this may be the more stable relationship or the relationship that this person has been in for a, a longer period of time, but I could always be wrong. I, you know, not wrong, or I could be getting someone else's energy. Because general is, I don't know how you can really be wrong, because I don't know who I'm talking to. So who knows, <laughs> you know what I mean? Who knows whose scenario this fits? Knight of Swords. Um, that's another air energy. Okay, but this is also hostility here. Devil card, Knight of Swords, like a uh, conflict in a family setting. Death card, Scorpio has shown up. Temperance, Sag, this is Sagittarius' energy. And this is the star card, Aquarian energy. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, so this is interesting because Sagittarius ain't trying to leave this person alone either. <sighs> Sag, what are y'all doing? Okay, let me let me get all right. There's a knot of cups at the bottom. So some of y'all are dealing with water signs, but any of the signs I name. I'm trying to see what the hell this star card is. Okay, three of wands and the five of cups. So, Sagittarius, who are juggling, or whatever the hell you're doing with your life. This person right here, okay, it's over with y'all. Like, stop waiting on disappointment, okay? Literally, three of wands and the disappointment card, okay? You're waiting on something that is not necessarily going to happen, okay? I honestly feel like your best bet may be with this person over here that you're sleeping on. Okay, um, I feel like this person's down for you, Sag. I feel like they actually can bring some stability and some um, re reciprocity into your life. But you are chilling on this person. Four of Cups, Two of Swords. 
you're almost in a sense acting like they don't even exist or you're just being very cold to them because you're still waiting on this person to break your heart or disappoint you. Ten of Cups, again, yeah, that everybody looks at that as a happiness card, but that's also the end of a commitment. The Devil card here also tells me that this is a situation that you're having a hard time letting go of, Sagittarius, okay? The Star card is also a card of waiting, but it also talks to me, it tells me that you need to heal from this situation because, I mean... Like I said, the Three of Cups and the Five of Cups, that's waiting for yourself to be disappointed. A lot of you Sagittarians have hoped that this relationship may work. Maybe this person will change their mind or change who they are if they, if they are the devil, okay? Um, but I'm just not seeing that here. Temperance does tell me that you are taking your time, okay? Um, again, there's a big need to heal from this situation, okay? And letting it go sometimes is healing, okay? The only reason why I'm saying that is the Death card showing up here next to the Devil card. This is saying that this is an ending to, to me, that this is an ending that been needed to happen or something that you are holding on to, you just won't let go of, okay? Um, there may be love for this person, there may be family values, there may be children involved, there may be history here. But if you have the devil energy showing up, which I told you guys, I don't like that in love readings, it basically means that you're holding on something to dear life or this person is not trying to let you go. You may be in a soulmate, twin flame, whatever the hell, uh, cycle that just keeps repeating itself, repeating itself. And it, for some of you, it's toxic with the devil card, okay? whether Even if it isn't Rihanna and Eminem, uh, love the way you lie toxic, it may be um, just toxic in other ways, you know what I mean? It may be uh, comfortability, because sometimes people don't understand not moving forward just because you're comfortable can be toxic as well. That means that you're missing out on things, okay? I do feel like Sagittarius, you are under the understanding. Some of you are trying to get your finances right, um, maybe because of this, um, what am I trying to say? This separation, I don't know who's calling me, but they're about to wait. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Anyway, um, so basically, um, that's kind of what I, the advice I have for this person. This person here, I think you will reach out to them and there will be some forward movement, okay? There's going to be a lot of communication with this person after there wasn't for a while, okay? It could be an air sign. Some of you are dealing with an air sign here, though. It could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra that you're having a hard time letting go of, Scorpio, Capricorn, whatever. This person may be a Taurus or another sign, um... But I see good things for you and this person if you actually take them up on their offer. Yeah, you've been kind of like closed off to this person here, Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Okay, so I feel like after a period of taking a break from this person, you will decide to reach out to them. Some of you may be a Virgo. So yeah, some of y'all have had an offer on the table, but you weren't taking it. Yep, Ace of Cups. You have an opportunity for a new beginning in love. Some of y'all driving y'all crazy, nine of swords, okay? Some of y'all have an earth sign coming up in reverse, so some of y'all may need to let go of an earth sign or someone who's very focused on money, okay? It could be this Capricorn here. And then here you are, Sagittarius, king or queen of wands, whichever one you are, okay? So um, a lot of anxiety over this relationship here, but don't set yourself up to be disappointed because that's what I'm feeling like you're waiting on. A lot of y'all are missing this person or trying to fix things here, okay? You're kind of stuck in that this is going to work or this is how it's supposed to be and that's not always necessarily the case okay i hate to be the one to break it to you i know i'm always the bearer of bad news whatever Let's see give me a card for each situation please three two got time angel of love Ooh, yes boo yes ace of cups angel of love. okay sag take this take it okay anyway thinking man anxiety see this this is what i don't like okay this could be an air sign like i said but anxiety and some of y'all it's a marriage or it's somebody who's married okay it don't necessarily have to be you that's married to this person it could be somebody that's married but you're so fixated on this working it's giving you goddamn anxiety some of y'all can't sleep and that's what that nine of swords was okay or you're just really having a lot of anxiety about it period Look, what's for you ain't going to make you feel like this. It's going to make you feel all good and all that stuff. Not all the time, but if you're majority of the time having this feeling about something, 
not saying that it can't work in the future, but right now it's just not time. You're working against the current. You're trying to force something that's just not ready to happen yet, okay? Or it's just not meant to, or it played its, it's played out its time in your life, okay? So that's what I have for you, Sag. Please leave a comment if you enjoyed this reading. I know I did. I really liked it. I think it flowed nicely, but that's just my opinion. I love y'all, Sag. I will see you guys for the next reading, okay? Bye.